Hello guys, welcome back to Drill's Point. We are discussing toggle button over here. Toggle button forms a very important UI component for our application. We actually use a toggle button when we want to have a kind of an on or off situation for us. Say I want my application to be toggled on or I want my application to be toggled off. So it's basically a kind of a button which is having a light indicator in it. Now let's see how this button actually works. Basically this is a button which can either be displayed the check or the uncheck. Uh, it is basically also you showing the on off states with a light indicator. So let's see what are the basic properties for the toggle button. So first is disabled alpha. This property is, is the indicator or this property displays that the indicator has been disabled. Like this, this is to apply when the indicator has been disabled. Then is a text off. We use this property when for the text we want to show when the state is off for a toggle button. Text on when you want to say that yes, the, the button is uh, on or it's checked. We can also refer it in a simple way like for example, if you're having a mobile data, you toggle it on or off. If you toggle on, it says turn it off by clicking that button. So by text, I mean those particular texts over here. And then is the auto text. We won't be using it because this is generally done if we are having some input property, we are not using it right now. Then is a drawable bottom. By drawable bottom, I simply mean what should be uh, shown below the text if I want to have some image in my toggle button. Now let's see how do I actually add a toggle button to my application. So here's my toggle, here's my, I, add, I open up Android Studio, I create a new application. I In the activity underscore main.xml, I take up a toggle button. Then I add the click event wherein I would be performing and checking the state of my toggle button and would be running the application to see the result. Now let's see how a toggle button looks like in my XML file. So this is my XML file. I have taken a toggle button like this. This is the by default text. It's stating that the, is it checked or unchecked and the other properties remain same. You can even have a property like text off as I discussed. We would be having this property when we were doing a quick demo. Now what we do is we actually take up the this ID of the toggle button in our uh, Java file or the activity file and then start working on it to check what's the state of the uh, toggle button over there. So this is my Java file. I make up the object of the, to of the toggle button. I link it with, the, with my XML toggle button. And here in a similar way, I append and fetch whatever is the text of my toggle button. Like it says tg1.getText. Say if it's on, it would be displaying the text for the on state. If the toggle button is off, it would be displaying the text that is available for the off state. The best part about toggle button being that it shows you an indication that is it on or is it off. Toggle buttons are generally used when we are making some, uh, some you know, some input on which we have to turn off or on a situation. Like if I want that my app should be toggled off or my app should not work, there should be no service if there is less power. So in such situations, we use the toggle button. So now uh, let's go to our Android Studios and see how the toggle button actually looks like and what all can be done with the toggle button. Hello guys, so welcome back again. So as we have already discussed and seen about the toggle button now, in this demo we would be actually seeing how a toggle button works, uh, what are its traits, uh, how can we pass the text to a toggle button and what do we get output when you click a toggle button. So let's get started. This is my example file that I've written. Now, what I've done over here is, uh, for this particular toggle button, I have passed the text for on and the text for off, which means that when, if the state is on, then it will show that press to switch it off. If the state is off, it will show the toggle button is, yeah, it's off. So this was not much except for this. This is the only thing that we have added. And toggle button can be taken up from over here. This is my toggle button. So I quickly go to my Java in the minacti.java. So this is my class where I've been using toggle button. So there are two toggle buttons, TG1 and TG2. And I have made the object over there. I've, uh, I've used 
तो रेफरेंसिंग फ्रॉम द आर डॉट आई डी डॉट टॉगल बटन टू टाइप कास्ट दम टू टॉगल बटन एंड एंड लिंक दैम विद इज टी जी वन एंड टी जी टू एंड आई हैव सेट दैट द लास्ट बटन दैट इज देयर आई हैव यूज द स्ट्रिंग बफर टाइप रिजल्ट एंड आई एम अपेंडिंग दैट यू हैव यू क्लिक द फर्स्ट टॉगल बटन एंड द टेक्स दैट इज देयर इन द बटन देन अगेन यू हैव क्लिक द सेकेंड टॉगल बटन द टेक्स दैट इज देयर इन द टॉगल बटन and then i have uh, printed it in the toast saying that uh, toast dot make text result dot to string on this like whatever the result whatever the text or the string is in result it will be printing that to me and showing me on my screen so let me run this project and see what the output shows so here's my toggle button going on so here's my toggle button see when i it's off it says when i click it there's a light that there's this uh, color that is there and it says press to switch it off and it's on let's see the result now the first is off and the second is press to switch it off now if we click then it says that the first uh, tg button is this and the second is also off so the output is this one so we use toggle button if in case like uh, we have to turn a feature on or off so at that point in time we use a toggle button generally find uh, toggle buttons in such uh, app settings so guys that was all about to uh, toggle button from our end stay tuned as we take you through the other views or controls in our application thank you